using hands and thunder sticks at random to distract a free throw shooter has been shown to only create visual white noise, a form of peripheral stimuli that our eyes can easily block out thanks to a process called tunnel vision. But studies have proven that a coordinated field of background motion can cause an observer's movements to temporarily drift in that direction. Informal experiments with coordinated distractions by Dallas Maverick fans over three NBA games reduced the opponent's typical free throw percentage by an average of about 8%. But visual distractions should not be as effective as auditory distractions. While light may travel almost 900,000 times faster than sound, our brains process sound roughly 50 times faster than vision. And research has shown that exposure to sustained noise at over 85 decibels can cause fatigue and irritability. College basketball arenas have been routinely measured at nearly 120 decibels. That's almost as loud as standing under a jet engine. So what's the best distraction? A coordinated visual field combined with loud, unpredictable noises? Or maybe just a huge dude without a shirt? Well, NCAA stats actually suggest neither. A look at the differences in home and away free throw percentages, the best way to separate friendly fans from hostile crowds, reveals a variation of less than a single percent. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.